Hey YouTube, I'm going to show you how to fix your plasma cutter. This is the unit I have over here. It's from Harbor Freight. I already got it pretty much fixed and diagnosed, but I'm going to show you what I did. So that way maybe you can have the same problem. Um, I do not have a good air filter on mine. All I have is a small little uh, filter over here. And it doesn't really filter very well. You need to put a good filter on the bottom of these things over here. A lot of reports on uh, line says that's what kills these machines is having wet air go through your machine. So I'm going to show you what happened with mine and how I fixed it and what the problem was, okay? So mine, I had a problem every time I hit the trigger, I would hear the machine click and turn on, and I'd hear like a bzzz inside, but no air would come out, so it actually wouldn't light off a plasma spark. So what it is, went ahead and pulled the cover off. That's super easy, okay? And again, this is a plasma, this is the one from uh, Chicago Electric. It's a 40 amp plasma cutter, okay? But most of these plasma cutters kind of operate the same. So this one over here, the air comes in over here. you got your regulator. This little red valve over here, come on in. This little red valve over here just tells the computer that we have power or have uh, pressure in it. This is the actual air solenoid. This is the replacement. This one over here is the original. This one over here originally sat in here like this. Okay? Now if you look on this thing over here, it says it's a 24 volt... 24 volt uh, DC solenoid, air solenoid. So what happened was, is I tested these two wires right here with my voltmeter and I found that every time that I pulled the trigger and actually turned the machine on, it would get 20 or 30 volts. So I knew that the computer was working. There's a relay right here that turns the air valve on and off, okay? So this right over here I knew was getting power, but my solenoid over here was not working. So I went ahead and took it apart, pulled these four screws out, and I found this big old electrical part inside of here, okay? And then I opened this part over here, took this cover off, right here, and then I pulled this out, and I found that this is the plunger. See, there's a rubber diaphragm over here. This was not sliding in here anymore on mine. It was really bad. I've got it all polished and cleaned up now. There's a little spring that goes in here. Don't just lose your spring, okay? So this all sits in here like this, and then this fits inside the, the uh, valve body here, okay? So... The way that it works here, and bear with the uh, crudeness of this, but I'm going to put air in here with my mouth, and I'm going to put a magnet to it, it's simulating the electric magnet, and you'll listen. Oops, hang on, there it goes. So, what happens is that this just pulls up and allows air to flow through there. So, I know that this valve was bad because it was all clogged. I got that cleaned up, and I was all better now. But I still couldn't get this to work. So electrically, the one of these little wires in here are damaged. So I went ahead and just purchased a new one. This was on Amazon. Um, I just uh, did a search for 24 volt, um, eighth inch air solenoid. And this is what came up, okay? So this one over here works good. I don't see a problem with it. I go ahead and just, I just did a quick wire to this just to test it. Where are those wires coming from? Okay, those wires actually come through. Oh, I also there was a wire loom over here I had to cut off. So I had to take the wire loom off, I'll put it back in together. These two wires, one goes to this, and the other one goes up to the switch up front. So don't worry about where they come from. You'll just see it because it's connected to here. So just follow the wires, you'll see them. It's super easy, okay? So most uh, plasma torches I've ever been in have the same process. It has just a pressure valve and to make sure that you have pressure, because this tells the computer how much pressure is actually coming through the line. If it's too low, it won't set a plasma arc, or if it's too high, it causes problems. So this tells the computer what the pressure at. This just turns, lets the air flow on and off, okay? So it's pretty much that simple. So now I got it all up, and I'll turn this unit on, okay? And please make sure you unplug it before you do anything, okay? Now this here. So... It's now functional and working as before it was not. So, um, long story short, hang on, let me kill my compressor. So, long story short is if your plasma storage. Uh, plasma torch stops blowing air it's probably the air solenoid these things are number one thing that go out on these things that i've ever seen so again if it's not working put your voltmeter on here and see if this is a, a 24 volt dc so just see if you're getting power if you're getting power from here you got a bad solenoid order one on amazon super easy super cheap i think it was 12 bucks and now my 900 all the tool is back up and going so i hope that helps later